Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video, the Swedish word of the day is Today we're gonna look at my makeup collection and that is in Swedish Idag ska vi titta på min sminkkollektion Idag ska vi titta på min sminkkollektion Idag ska vi titta på min sminkkollektion Hope that you can pronounce that, sorry so yeah, this is my little makeup table. This is where I sit and you can see like right there. I do actually have a little board with just marble, I don't know, print or something. I did that myself out of boxes. By the way, this is gonna be a super long video, but yeah, we're just gonna dive right in. We're gonna start with the makeup table and of course I'm not gonna be able to show you each and every product. I will do like I did last year. I do one of these videos every single year. So I will have my playlist down below and then I will start off with eyeshadows. So in a couple of weeks I will show you guys my entire makeup collection or my entire eyeshadow collection and then if you are interested in seeing all of my highlights, blushes, bronzers and stuff like that then I will show you guys that as well. But yeah, we can start right here. So this part of my collection isn't super fun. You can see I have some sponges here and I do apologize because they are dirty. I have eyeshadow brushes and I did clean here because I knew that I was going to film. So I cleaned this table two days ago and it's still messy. But yeah, cotton balls or whatever uh, things to clean off your makeup or clean your ears with. This one I hate. I just have some jewelry right here, nothing fun. And then this one I also have jewelry in. I need to go and fix this watch. This is my Michael Kors watch that Nicholas gave to me uh, when we had been together for six months, I think. He gave me it for a, a Christmas present, but it has stopped, so I need to change the battery. I have some, yeah, just earrings and jewelry, um, hair things, you know, stuff. And then right next to it, I have this, which is just an acrylic box. And every time I showcase that, I get questions where I bought it and such. And I did buy it from a Swedish store called Coco Panda. Here I have some of my favorite palettes. And I have some palettes that I need to use more. And I have just palettes I enjoy and I try to focus on. So this is the Max Up The Makeup Flower Child Palette. I hate this focus, come on. This is what it looks like. They have come up with a new palette. They said that they were going to send it to me, but I haven't heard anything else. So I don't really know if they're going to, but this is a, a really beautiful palette. Then I have this palette I need to use more. This I've only used once. This is the Too Faced, uh, what is this called? Razzle Dazzle Berry Palette. This is so unique because the shadows, I would say like the cream shadows are sort of like Color Pops, uh, Super Shock shadows. Super cute. You guys know I'm obsessed with this palette, but I haven't used it that much. This is the Urban Decay Moondust palette. I haven't used it that much the past couple of weeks or months even actually. I need to use it more. It's such a beautiful palette. I have my beloved Ferro palette um, right here, but I have the old version, so I don't have the new one. I have these two, the Morphe uh, Bling Boss palette. Looks like this. I'm not gonna open every palette, but I'm just gonna show you some. The Dose of Color Friendication palette. Looks like that. I think I'm gonna take this for my next Shop My Stash, actually. I have all three Kaleidos palette because they are beautiful and I reach for them. I have the other two ColourPop palettes right here, so it's my pleasure and just my luck. I have these two ColourPop palettes right here, so this is the Good Sport and then Through My Eyes. I think I've only done one look or so with this palette, but this palette is beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. I love the mattes in this palette. I don't love the shimmers. The shimmers are not really my cup of tea. So I love to use this as a companion palette. And then of course we have my palette that I did in collaboration with Blush Tribe. It is, when I'm filming this, you can go ahead and pre-order it right now. 
we did restock it so if you do want to do that you can do that and you can use my code but this is what it looks like super pretty the tri palette that i think i also want to put in my shop my stash i have the riviera and norvina palette i have the natasha denona gold palette right there the lemonade palette this palette i have not used for a super long time this is the beach cosmetics aurora lights palette such a beautiful and super good palette actually maybe i should take this palette for my next shop my stash you see this is why i need to do shop my stash and then we have the BH Cosmetic, no, Be Perfect Carnival Palette and the Morphe 35M Palette that looks like this. Super cute, real, real beautiful palette. Has some duds in this, but overall, I think that it's a good quality, especially on the mattes. The shimmers are not my favorite. They're very harsh. Oh, and I have the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette here as well because I love the shimmers in this, especially this one. Oh, such a beautiful shimmer. And then here I just have some eye pens. This one is from Soeva. I purchased this off of Beauty Bay. It had some beautiful prints in it, but they're basically gone. But I think that this is a pretty good size for eye pens and lip pencils. I definitely don't need more than what this can hold. So yeah, I'm not gonna go too in depth in this one. And then here you can see I have an acrylic. This is just a little ring light, but. Um, I have a little acrylic right here that we can look into. So on the top right here, I have some setting sprays. Um, so I have from Revolution. These are from Revolution. I have a Mario Badescu spray that I use at night. An Ofra Kicks Essence Kicks. This is just water and then Essence. I have a lot of Essence, but I do have a pixie one. And here I have some lipsticks. I have this one. This is also... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is such a mess. It's so hard to film like this, but some lipsticks right here as well. And then this is what it looks like on the bottom. So when you can take the, these off, this is like a super popular acrylic case, but I think it's so expensive. It's actually ridiculous. Here I have some liquid liners and some glitter liners. So I have some from Golden Rose, from NYX, from ColourPop, and these are from NYX. Then I have from Maquillage, oops. So yeah, these are just in here because I don't use them that often um, because I don't love them that much. This is the second drawer. And by the way, I do wanna say that I did declutter all of my Wet n Wild products. Not everyone, I do keep some of them, but I will get into that if we get to those. But this is the second drawer, but if you see something from Wet n Wild or something else that is not cruelty free, let me know and I'll declutter it sometimes you don't really see it when you go through your collection so if you see it please let me know just say timestamp wet a wild for instance or whichever brand it is but yeah this is the second one and then the third one is actually just some single shadows and such and then some letters i have that i just don't really want to show you so this is the last part that i have on my table this is a little acrylic thing as well so here i have oh my god i'm so sorry it's dirty i'm human i know this is my absolute favorite glow kit from abh this is just perfection look at it it's so beautiful i've used the living crap out of this and then i have my nicole Guerrero glow kit because this one is also a bomb.com my Linda Halibari Infinity Palette. I love the black in this one. I absolutely love the black in this one. And then the Saharan Blush Volume 2 Palette from Julius Place. Probably one of the most beautiful blush palettes in the entire world. And then here you can see that I have two acrylic things with lipsticks. So I have some of the lipsticks that I kind of use the most or that I want to use more. So I do rotate a lot through these. So here is, of course, bullet lipsticks and some, these are bullet lipsticks, but then some liquid lipsticks. Like these from Dose of Colors aren't that high, so I keep them in here. 
and same with the pixie ones and then the joy ones i actually have some of the joy ones in my shop my stash here i have some of my favorite or some of the things that i do want to focus on and use up or just use more so i have a lot of color pop two face two face the balm the balm nyx nyx uh, ofra uh, sigma but yeah you know just lipsticks and then in the back right here i do have my shop my stash product so currently i'm trying to use up my Jaclyn Hill palette Not use up. I mean I have it in my shop my stash So this is what it looks like and then I just have my shop my stash products in here I don't feel like showing them, but I do have some palettes some Highlights and so on and then on my makeup table or my makeup table actually stands on two hutches so these hutches are five drawers and then I have a third hutch so we're gonna go through these two hutches first that is on this makeup table right here and then we're gonna go and look through the third hutch which is makeup that i don't use as much so this is the first drawer and here i have my powders and concealers so concealers here obviously and then some cream products as well these are from lush but let's see so i do have concealers right here from essence uh, Milani, NYX, whoops, we have uh, Catrice, Too Faced, Colourpop, Berry M, you know, just Anastasia, and then I have my Chubby Stick. My favorites currently is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, no. <laughs> Yes, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but I was going to say the Tarte Shape Tape. I know I'm so late to the game. And then I absolutely adore the uh, Makeup Revolution concealer. And this, this Catrice concealer is super, super nice. Oh, and the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, but you don't get a lot of product in this. Absolutely adore them. Uh, oh, and this Milani concealer is really nice as well, but I'm gonna stop. Okay, so in the front here, let me see if I can change the setting a little bit so you maybe can watch it like this. Hopefully this is a little bit easier. So yeah, in the front here, I have some Essence, 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 Essence. Oh, what a wild. I'm gonna declutter this one. This is, by the way, even almost used up, as you can see. So doesn't matter we're gonna throw that out then in the back i have some of my loose powders so i have this from lottie london nyx can't stop won't stop adore this powder as well really, really nice uh, linda halibari infinity filter loose setting powder in the shade light really like that the Too faced peach perfect love 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 and you get a lot of product in this and the fenty one the fenty one is my holy holy grail i have the shade butter it's my all-time favorite powder and then i have the makeup revolution lace i did have the banana light as well but i gave it away to my friend and i actually gave away a lot of my powders to my friend she has now two kids she recently got, gave birth to her daughter and then she has her son that i am a, i am his godmother and she, of course, since she has two kids, doesn't spend a lot of money on makeup and such. So I told her, like, is there something you need when it comes to makeup? Like eyeshadows? Do you need powders? Do you need um, whatever it is? And she said that she needed light banana powders. So I gave away some of my powders to her. And then I have here a maquillage powder. They've actually gone out of business. And I think that this, yeah, this is unused. Unused. Catrice and this is my newest one. This is the makeup store one Okay, I'm not gonna open it, but it is in the shade pale used it today for the first time will I really enjoy it But that is this little drawer. So here we have my blush drawer and of course I can't go through everything but I do have this one from Le Body Shop uh, here basically I have palettes and then in the back I have not palettes, I have singles. 
So this is a beautiful blush palette from Revolution Pro. I definitely recommend this. This is super pretty, but it is very, very pigmented. So if you don't love like super pigmented blushes, I don't think you're gonna like this. They also have one in the peachy version, but I love pink blushes. So I bought the pink one and then I have this one from Technic. This is a really, really beautiful blush palette. Catrice Morphe, this is a beautiful Morphe palette. Um, blush palette, I mean, from Morphe. This is also a palette that I that I that they have in peach. So you can purchase a peachier version of this. I don't even think that you get the full majesty or, or whatever it's called from this palette. Then I have an Elf blush. This is a bronzer palette. It's not gonna be in here. I have. Maybe I have the blush palette in the bronzer palette then, or in the bronzer drawer. Then this one from Sigma, I know that not everyone liked this. I think that it's a good blush palette, I do like it, but I only kind of use these. I would never use these, they are way too dark for me. They are sort of more like bronzers. Blushes is something that I really enjoy and I can keep for a very, very long time. I don't really declutter blushes. Like for instance, I have had these probably for five or six years. Not gonna declutter them, I still use them. I have one of these, one of the Balm in Stain blushes in one of my Shop My Stash currently because I just love them. But I have the shade Toil in my Shop My Stash. This is so pretty. I actually bought NARS Sin, I think that it was called a blush. And I wanted it to be this color, but it wasn't. But this is beautiful for spring. It's so unique. Not for spring, for fall, I mean. It's so unique. My mom has this. She fell in love with it when she was in my house and she fell in love with, with it and bought it. I do have this palette as well, which is from Too Faced. This is now discontinued, but this is their Love Flush palette. Super pretty. I mainly stick to these three shades. This is one of my newest blushes. This is from BH Cosmetics. I still have not used it. I've swatched it. I've wanted this for so long, but now that I got it, I'm like, hmm, not gonna use it. Super smart powder now. Um, well, I have one here from Becca, which I think is super pretty. This was on sale for like no money at all. This is the shade Fox. G Love or Fox Glove. If you know, you know. This is a beautiful one from Too Faced. Really like this one. Super pretty. I really, really like this from Makeup Revolution, but mine came broken, but it really doesn't matter. I've used this a ton. The one thing is that it doesn't last that long on the skin, but I do think it's super pretty. This one is a Maze Balls from Fenty. I have some from Essence. This one I also really, really love from Makeup Revolution. This is sort of like a blush topper. Absolutely beautiful. It is in highlight, but I use it as a blush topper. I have this from ABH that I've wanted for so, so long that I didn't actually purchase until very, very recently. This is one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Winging It Blush Duo. You can't purchase this anymore from ColourPop, but you can purchase this shade in a single. I need to say this again. Every time I showcase this, I know how it looks on camera. It looks so intense, but it's not as intense when you swatch it or apply it to the skin. As you can see, it's right there. It's not as intense as it looks like. So yeah, I have some here from The Balm, CoverGirl, this is super pretty from CoverGirl. I have some Milani ones right here. I need to show you this in case you haven't seen it. Here it is, look at this one. Are you proud of me? This is probably the one blush that you can see that I've used the living crap out of. So cool. Uh, I have some here from ColourPop as well. No, CoverGirl, Zoeva, and yeah, some blushes that I just like. This is my primer and foundation drawer, so I do have, as you guessed, primers 
set of foundations here. Uh, I do have some skincare and some other things in here as well. So here you can see my primers are. And for someone that doesn't like primers, it looks like a lot. But you have to take in consideration that this, not everything in here is a primer. That's what I'm trying to say. Like for instance, a lot of these are skin products that I'm just trying to use up. But we can look in a little bit closer. So this one I absolutely adore, which is the um, Physicians Formula Spotlight Primer. Absolutely adore this. Um, another one that I absolutely adore is the Milani Camellia Oil, but I have that in my Shop My Stash thing. This one I still haven't used. I got this from Elliot, but she sent me so many things. Let me tell you, I, she sent me this maybe, I'm so bad at dates, but maybe in the beginning of the year? No, it has to be longer than that. A while back anyway, and I've been saving this to use in one of my like first impression videos, but I haven't gotten to that yet. This one, CoverGirl, really like. I like it. I'm not gonna say that I really, really like it, but I like it. And then here on the side right here, you can't really see it, but I do have some skincare as well. Here I have some of my cover effects drops and a little bit else. But let's dive into Le Foundations. So hopefully you can see, I did try and organize it a little bit, but I, I have always struggled with organizing foundations. I think it's so hard. But this is the Catrice foundations. I adore both of these, but this one, they, it looks super disgusting. This one looks super disgusting when you look at it, because you can see that there's a lot of like water on top right here. But I think it's supposed to be like that. This is the newer one. A lot of you guys asked me the difference between the two of them, like appear appearance wise. And as you can see, this one is red, this one is black. So this is the, um, this doesn't have as much coverage as this one because this one is super coverage, has a lot of coverage, I mean. It's matte, while this one is a little bit more liquidy. As you can see, this is the coverage, this is the Radiance Foundations. This one doesn't last that long, but this one is my favorite full coverage foundation. It's so good without having, like it doesn't feel super cakey. It doesn't feel like you have a lot on your skin. It's just amazing. And then I have this one, which is the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. I do want to buy one of these to use for cream contour because these ones are so creamy that I think that it's going to work perfectly. So I'm going to do that sometime. Uh, I have this one that I also really, really love. If you have been on my channel for a long time, you know this. I think, as you can see right here, I think I can actually use it up if I try to focus on it. But during the summer months, I am gonna try and focus on foundations that are too dark for me so that I can use them a bit more. This one from Ardell is also on Holy Grail. This is the best foundation I've tried in such a long time. This one, the Ardell one, and the Physicians Formula Foundation is probably the two that I could have all my life. Like, those two, give me those and I'll be fine. All of the other things are just meh compared to those. I do like this one from Makeup Revolution. I think that this one is really, really nice. It is matte. I wouldn't say that it's full, full coverage, but, it, but I do actually blend in a little bit of this one which is the LA Girl Pro Coverage, and you can see that it's too dark for me. So I do use it to blend that one in um, with this one. So I do take a little bit of drops just to blend it in. This one is the Serum Foundation. I do like this one from The Ordinary. I used to rave about this last year. I think that it's good, but the thing is that it's not sweat proof. So that's why I'm kind of not using it that much anymore because I can show you. Look how liquidy this is. So if you start to sweat, the foundation will be even more liquidy because it's gonna blend with the sweat and it's just gonna pour off your face and it's gonna ruin everything. It's not gonna look good at all. So that's why I'm kind of not really using it that much because I can't really trust it. I have trust issues. 
I do love this one from CoverGirl. The one thing with this one is that it doesn't last that long, but I honestly could, couldn't care less. I use this whenever I can because I love and adore it. Uh, and then in the back, I do have my two Ed Cosmetics CC creams. These are two that I'm trying to use a little bit during the summer months because they have a lot of SPF that I want during the summer anyway, and then they um, are a little bit too dark for me. But I should actually try and use up these. These are from Isadora. They are so old, but they still work. So I'm not gonna, I, I never declutter things after expiration date. I declutter them when they start to act or smell badly, when they don't apply as they used to and so on, or if they look bad or if they smell bad. But these are still going strong, so yeah. But yeah, these are just an overview of some of my foundations. I do have this one, the W7 Very Vegan Foundation. I don't really know how I feel about it. I have this one as well, the ordinary um, coverage foundation. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move along now. So because we have been in this drawer for a long, long time now. So this is my highlight drawer, and I know it's hard to see because there's a lot of reflections in here. So I do apologize for that. But what can you do? So again, here I have like palettes, and then here I have single highlights. And I feel like highlights is. Something like when I started out getting into I can't deal with this. We're gonna do like that when I started out with makeup I just Didn't understand the hype with highlights. I like them But I felt like you didn't need more than one and I had this one as my first highlight I didn't feel like you needed anything else because they were all gonna look the same on your skin This is the balms mirror luminizer. This is real real beautiful Beautiful champagne just absolute perfection and no you actually you don't need a lot but then you get excited and you start appreciating it and then you're like fuck it I need everything so this one I actually got for free from revolution when I placed an order they kind of just sent this along these two are pure trash but this one is pretty neat actually I did use it in a video recently it sort of has this green tint to it really really pretty um, this is a really good Revolution palette. This is the Soap palette, the ugh, highlight palette. Looks like this. Really good, actually. I, I do like this one. This one from Rude Cosmetics is really nice. I don't know why I don't use it anymore because the quality of this is so good. It's so good. I absolutely adore this palette, so I don't know why I don't reach for it more. Um, okay. Now, I just realized something. I do have two Kat Von D products in my collection. Yes, these are products that I am not willing to declutter because I use them off camera and I like them. And if I didn't do YouTube, I would keep them. So I do have two products from Kat Von D and I don't feel actually like I need to explain myself, but I'm not gonna pick out the products from my collection and hide them from you. So. I do have products from Kat Von D, but I don't support a brand. But since I already have them and own them, I am gonna continue to use them. So yeah, this is just the Metal Crush Palette. I'm not gonna show it anymore, just like so. This is super dirty. This is such a good BH Cosmetics palette. This is a highlighter palette. This is the Black Light Palette, such a good palette it's so freaking good definitely a recommend recommend i mean look at this this has like a green tint to it look at that so freaking stunning so definitely recommend that the other one that's laying underneath there not as good if i'm gonna be totally honest I did not do a good job cleaning out this drawer. I didn't, didn't clean this drawer, if I'm gonna be honest. This is the Dual Light Highlight Palette. <gasps> oh, I just remember. I used this one as an eyeshadow once, and I loved it. Oh, look at this one. Wait. Uh, let me swatch it here. I don't know how well you, it translates on camera, but it is this beautiful, almost like green... 
violet I don't know how to explain it but it's so beautiful um, but overall the quality is very subpar maybe I should use this in a shop by stash video once or twice then I have a palette from Kix don't really like this one I don't think it's that good damn I have a lot of hair in here this color prop palette if you can still get this then do if you like a glittery super intense highlight because this is I mean look at that this is just perfection in my eyes so beautiful Fuck. you see that so beautiful I cannot do videos like this because I want to show you everything <laughs> I would like to do a video like this and the video be like three hours long. I could literally sit there and talk for three hours. But yeah, then I have my glow kit here from ABH. This is the first one that they came out with. Love that. Then I have my single highlights right here. So I have some from Makeup Monster that is no longer available. Colourpop, Colourpop Elf, H&M. I got this one not too long ago like maybe three weeks ago. This is actually pretty neat. It's sort of like this stiffer formula. It's not really a chalet, but it's still like a stiffer formula. Um, and it is a very pretty glow, actually. I don't know if I've used it on camera, but yeah. Then I, of course, have the Amrisi highlight. I have two from Jouer. I do like both of them, but I adore Citrine, which is this one should use this more now during the summer and then this is celestial love them two ofra ones don't love these ones as much as i love the og formula actually this one if you can still get this one i do definitely recommend this one as well this is from the catrice glow patrol collection i don't remember what it was called but this highlight is so beautiful because it has this pinky almost red shift to it it's so unique and it's so beautiful i bought mine off cosmetic for less dot de so definitely check out there pixie i need to show you this so you guys know i did use up this one i tried to get the, my friend to take this one but she said that this was too dark for her which it was actually so i don't really know what to do with this because i don't want to toss it because this product is bomb.com so i don't really know what to do but i did use up that one and now i have hit pan in this one do you see that so cool okay move on we're only on the fourth drawer this one from juvia's is so nice adore this and um, i have another one from ofra here this is probably the one that i like the least from the og collection actually and Natasha Denona Super Glow, right here, beautiful. And oh, this one, Marine bought me and I adore this one. I always think about her when I use this. She makes me feel like a little princess. She's such a sweetheart. I cannot de declutter this, but I don't like it. This is from Dose of Color. This is the Fuego highlight, I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I have Ofra, Becca, NYX in the back. I have uh, this palette right here. And then I have this palette from Sleek. Um, yeah, highlights. Woo! So again, I'm so sorry if the light is a bit off. But I did declutter in my lip drawer the other day. So in here, I just have... Yeah, these are just some of my shop my stash products so i do have the jar cosmetics products and these are new i go through these like i change underwear which is probably once a month no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding but i love these so i have a backups of these in my last empties video i think i had like seven or eight of these so i do know that i go through them a lot and then i have on this side i have wait i have some things like this right here and then on the top right here I have um, some like liquid lipsticks that I don't have that many of like each I have a backup of a Colourpop lipstick right here makeup monster Fenty uh, but then I have like NYX Sigma but then I have like all of these right here are my Ofra ones 
and then all of these except for maybe one or two because I got a NYX or two one in here but they are my ColourPop ones I feel like it's awkward to show lipsticks. We have some ColourPop lipsticks right here. We have some H&M ones right here. Some other things right here. Fenty, Nevin Cosmetics that is now closed, unfortunately. Makeup Store, Flower Beauty, Rituals. No, this is Rituals. What is this? Rituals. Oh, Paris Berlin. Uh, Muji or Mayu, I don't really know. NYX, uh, Revolution, ELF. Like, I don't know how to show lip products, to be honest, but that's my lip drawer. Let's move on. This is my second hatch and the first drawer. So here I just have some lashes on the side and then some tools. Uh, here on the side I have some tools as well, like a sharpener, tweezers, stuff like that. These are my liquid eyeshadows and glitters. So these two I kind of just got like two days ago and I tried this one for the first time which is sort of like a dupe of the ColourPop Distortion. No, the uh, Urban Decay Distortion, I mean. But I, I really like this, actually. And then I have these two from Makeup Revolution. I haven't tried these ones a lot, actually. <sighs> so strange, but I should have used these a little bit more. Oh, eyeshadow brushes. Should maybe remove those. Sorry. Another eyeshadow brush. Sorry. Then I have some liquid shadows right here from H&M. I have this one, and then I have these two three I have from H&M. Really like them. These two I got from Berry M. They're really, really pretty actually. They're like holographic toppers. So you can kind of just take one of these and you know, have a base shadow and then take these on top. And it just becomes this beautiful holographic thingling. It's so effing beautiful. This is the only one that I've tried from ColourPop that I like. And this is the shade Over Again. I think it's so pretty. And it, it's, it performs really well. <sighs> what else do we have here? We have some liquid eyeshadows from Kix that I actually got in PR. I have another one, so here it is. Um, and then I have some Stila ones. I have two Stila ones in my shop, my stash currently, so those two are big. And then I have these three that came in a little set. Oops, sorry. I have some H&M ones that I truly recommend. They're so affordable and they're actually really, really good. They have one other shade that is a dark, almost black with some copper in it almost. Uh, I haven't purchased that, it's not really my gist, but these are so good. I actually need to repurchase these two, which I've been saying for probably a year, but <laughs> yeah. My pixie ones, I need to purchase the pixie green next so pretty and I do love these. Uh, another one from H&M, super pretty. Uh, whoops, another one from H&M that I dropped. This is a brow, ga uh, brow gel, so it's not supposed to be there. Too Faced, Milani, you know, a bunch of shit. Beautifully organized right there for ya. Then here I just have some brow products because I didn't really know where to put them. So yeah, these are just some brow products that I use on occasion, like some Sigma ones. This one from Revolution I actually dye my brows with, uh, probably like once or twice a week. I have taupe and I just bought medium brown. Uh, but yeah, some brow gels, brow powder. But then here you can see that I have my colorful liners which I use in my waterline. I know that so many of you have purchased them because of my recommendation, which makes me so happy that you also love them. I think this one from ColourPop is the one that I've used the most actually, which is Punch. I'm even wearing it today, but as you can see, I still have so much left. I use this every single week. These are some um, colorful or ColourPop jelly matte shadows. I actually took this one with me one day because um, no, I had this on my eyes one day. I never thought that I would use one of these, but I actually, I never thought that I would use this shade, I mean. But I brought this one with me because my eyeshadow just creased the living F because it was raining and I took a little bit of this and I just slapped on my eyeballs and it looked so beautiful again. I had this in my purse for a couple of weeks, but I just removed it. 
but I feel like I should put it back. <laughs> then I have three of the, um, these are the Revolution Pro liners, which I recommend if you live in Europe. I do love my ColourPop ones, but I do really, really adore these ones as well. They are way more drier than the ColourPop ones, but if you don't wanna order outside of EU, then I do recommend purchasing these from Beauty Bay or Revolution or Superdrug or wherever you can purchase them. Uh, but they're actually pretty good actually so yeah and then here I have my blush tribe pigments don't know how well you can see them but I do have some fudge I do have some blush tribe pigments here that I adore I love to use these on occasion and I've used these a lot in my videos and then I actually have <gasps> wet and wild product bye bye so here I have some lashes. I've actually given myself a no buy when it comes to lashes because I realized how many I have. So these ones are the ones that I'm focusing on right now. And then when I've used these up, I'll move another one. I have some more in another drawer. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, this drawer is now done. So this is the next drawer. This is where I keep all of my bronzers. So yet again, palettes here. This one is a little bit too big, so keeping it right here as well. We're gonna add in the bronzer palette that we found from Elf. So you can assume that this is the blush palette. Let's see. Yes, wouldn't you know? So, oops, I'm gonna move the focus. So I'm gonna move this to my blush drawer. But this is the Sigma bronzer palette, the Sculpt Highlight and Contour palette. You cannot see, but I've used this shade quite a lot actually. Doesn't make a dent in it whatsoever, which is pretty cool actually. <gasps> this one I love. This one. This, I know it's dirty and everything, but this is so good. This is perfection. This is the shade I don't really use. You can see the rifles in here. Do you see that? You can see how much I've used this. This one, like every time I'm gonna contour, I use this one and this one. This one is way more powdery and that's why I've hit pan faster but I have used these the same amount, I would say. This one I use for bronzer. So um, yeah, absolutely adore this one. I dropped this one in the ground one day and the first thought that came to mind is I need to go to Revolution's website and order a new one. That's how much I love it. Pixie Contour Kit, it's fine. It's good, um, but it's expensive. Root Cosmetics, this one is fine. Then my ABH Contour Kit, which is good, like it. Then we have my, whoops, single bronzers right here. So this one I absolutely adore. This one is so good. If you like a cool tone bronzer, I definitely recommend this one. This is in the shade Sunkissed. This is from Milani, if I did not say so. Super nice, super beautiful. It's called Silky Matte, and it's definitely a Silky Matte. Then we have this one, which is the Fenty one. Sorry for the dirt. Looks like this. I do like this one, but I'm not obsessed with it. It's not a bronzer I would repurchase. Um, I would much rather re repurchase my Jouer one, which is in my shop, my stash currently. The Milani one is way more it's way better in my personal opinion. The Essence one, I'm liking more. This one from The Balm, I'm liking even more. This is my um, Take Home the Bronze from The Balm in the shade Oliver, but this is my second one. I have already purchased this. This is so good for fair skin. If you don't want any orange or anything, you just wanna look bronzed, this one, swear by that one. Then we have this one. I have a little dent in my Bahama Mama. I do wanna focus a little bit more on this one next, which is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I should use this a little bit more. I have this one that I barely use, to be honest. And then uh, Revolution, Urban Decay, and Physician's Formula. Physician's Formula is also really good, actually. I think that this one is very, very beautiful. It's just now a year later that I stopped my pretty pan with that one that I can start appreciating it a little bit more. 
I'm assuming that a lot of you guys have thought, when are you gonna get to the eyeshadows? And we're finally there, finally. So this is one of my eyeshadow drawers. I do have two more, two more, two more, but they are not full. So I know that it is a little bit excessive, but they are not full anyway. So let's start off right here. I have four of my Juvia's Place palettes right here. So this is my favorite Juvia's Place palette. This is the Saharan 2. So pretty, absolutely adore this palette. It's so underrated. I know so many of you have purchased it because I've said that I love and adore this palette. And I, I'm so happy that so many of you guys have said that you understand what I mean because definitely looking at it, and especially if you look at it online, it's not that impressive, but it is in real life. Let me just swatch four shades for you. We have this beautiful matte. Did not expect that, huh? This one, this one, and then this one. I mean, look at that. How can you not be obsessed with this palette? That's what I'm wondering. Then we have, oh, I just got scared that it broke, but yeah. Then we have the Sulu palette, which looks like this. This is a stunner as well. I have not used it as much as I would have liked to. The only reason why I have a pan in this purple palette or in this purple shade is because of the fact that this shade is trash. And every time I've used it, I have not used this shade as much as it looks like, but every time I've tried to use it, it's just blended away. So I've been going in with more and more and more and more and more. And that's the only reason why I have panned it. So it's not as used as it looks like. Then we have the Festival palette. Um, I do like this one, but it's probably one of my least used. Um, there's something about it. I think that it is the black background or something that's throwing me off. So yeah, I don't really know. And then the Douce palette or the Douche palette that I would have liked to call it. It's very, very pretty. Uh, we have three Colourpop palettes here. We have Dream Street, Elements of Surprise, and Yes Please. I recently used the Yes Please palette, actually. Then I have the Masquerade palette by Juvia's. I was so close to putting this in my recent Chop My Stash, but I didn't do it. Might actually do it next time. But as you can hear, every time I see a palette, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put this in my next Chop My Stash. The Nubian 2 by Juvia's as well. I recently did a tutorial with this, so just search my channel and you can find that one. This is the Blush Tribe Fall Fusion Palette, and I have a name in this palette, or I have a shade, this one, that is named after me, after me, Paulina. Uh, yeah, really beautiful palette, actually. I've used this a lot on my channel, a couple of times anyway. Then I have some of my ABH palettes right here. So we have the Subculture palette. This was the one that I thought that I would use in my shop mustache. <laughs> mm, yeah, you can see, I cannot decide. But this one is the perfect grungy palette in my opinion. I absolutely adore this palette. Recently used this in my makeup and murder video or something. Then we have the Modern Renaissance palette looks like this. I think that everyone has seen this palette and then the prism palette that you can no longer purchase but there's a bunch of dupe palettes you can purchase if you really want this. Then I have this ABH palette as well which is one of their older palettes. This is the uh, Shadow Couture palette I think that it's called. Super pretty actually. Not used it that much though. This is the other Kat Von D product that I have so I'm just gonna show it and then be done with it like so. This is some of my singles. I did do a little my own like blush and berry palette from Dose of Colors. I duped it instead of purchasing it. So proud of myself. My Viseart palette that I definitely thought that I would use way more than I have. Uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe, what is this called? The Dark Magic palette. Used this once. Some of these shades are untouched. This is the first item that I ever got from one of you guys. So it's very, very dear to me. I love this color story and I lusted over this palette for such a long time. It's from e.l.f. It's their Jewel Pop palette. So such uh, it has a beautiful, or it has a place in my heart. Then I have the BH Cosmetics Festival palette, the Nabla Poison Garden palette, the Dragon Child palette by 
Menagerie Cosmetics. I have the Creepy Cute palette, the Hasina one and Hasina two. I should use the Hasina one for my next shop my stash because this is so summery and springy. This last row is just perfection. I adore this palette, so cute. I have, oh my God. So underneath here, I have the big Morphe, no, um, Juvia's Magic Palette, and then the big Morphe 39. What is it called? I need to check. I don't remember what it's called. Is it the 35A palette? Oh my God. Oh. Do you see how ginormous this is? This is the 35, yes, it's the A palette. The one reason I don't use this is because it's so freaking ginormous. This is such a big palette and that's why I didn't purchase the pink and purple palette that came out because it's it's too big and I know that I won't use that because they are too large. Let's see what else we have in the back. So we have the uh, Too Faced chocolate, uh, chocolate bar palette. <laughs> the Linda Halberg Spectral palette. I have some of my singles from Makeup Eat, Colourpop, uh, Elf, two Soeva palettes, NYX, um, Too Faced, like Sigma. I have some palettes. You'll see more when I do my um, in-depth every eyeshadow palette video or when I show you guys all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I don't want you to overanalyze the statement that I made in this video, or when I showed you guys this first drawer with my eyeshadow palettes, because I said that most, my most loved eyeshadow palettes are in there, but I do have a lot of them in this drawer as well that I love. So this is the Sigma Viper palette. Very pretty, small little curated palette. This is a really good Revolution palette that I can recommend if you like the color scheme. The quality is really good when it comes to this palette. They blend very, very easily. The mattes, the shimmers are really, really nice. Like, look at this. Look at that. I mean, that's a pretty good shimmer in my personal opinion. That's the only one that I use that I really have enjoyed. The Tammy palette is pure trash. This one I haven't even used. I'm sorry, but the thing is that Technic reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to get some PR from them. And I was like, yeah, but this is an Urban Decay dupe palette, the Born to Run palette. And I don't really like dupes. And I thought that this performed just by swatching it. I thought that it performed so bad that I didn't want to do a tutorial with it. So I don't really know what to do with it now. Such a shame to be honest, but it is what it is. I have some singles here. Then I have more singles here. These are sort of my, I think most of these are from ColourPop except for maybe this one. No, these, these three are not from ColourPop either. These are from Makeup Geek and this is from Morphe. But most of these are anyway from ColourPop. This is also from Makeup Geek. I have, by the way, eyeshadows and face palettes in here. Then I have my two beloved certified palettes that I adore. This is the Dynasty palette. Such a beautiful color scheme. I wanna use this in my next project pan or shop my stash. And then the certified Tropical Wonders palette, which is a beautiful and gorgeous uh, rainbow palette. Uh, yeah. What else do we have in here? Mm, I have some, what is this? These, I think, you're not supposed to see this. No, this is not that. These are anyway all from, what are the brand called? Coastal Scents, yes. So I haven't used these that much and I don't like them that much. Labelle UK, I have my, um, this one is actually really good. This is a face palette from Revolution. You can see that I've used a lot out of this. I actually like it, I think it's good. Coco Contour. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, but I did an empties video and I showed you guys that I finished up these, these two. I could not declutter it. I tried to get rid of it, but I just couldn't. I don't know why, so don't judge me. Yeah, 
but I have NYX, I have some more Blush Tribe, I have the Michelle Lou palette, some NYX Golden Rose Essence, Becca uh, Blush Tribe, Makeup Revolution. This one I like. This is my singles from Makeup Geek. This shade, so good. And these blushes, so beautiful. And then the drawer underneath is actually just hair products, so I'm not gonna show you that, but we're gonna move on to the last hutch. Okay, this is the best I can do, but this is the last hutch, and I know that it's a bit echoey here, but it is what it is. So here I have some blushes and highlights that I don't use that much, but I'm not ready to declutter. So these are my Revolution uh, Skin Kiss highlights two of them i have a cover fx palette right here and highlight palette a mark jacobs bronzer that i'm so fucking annoyed by that it just kind of broke so annoying ellie girl cover color pop blushing hearts from makeup revolution this one i used to obsess about this one and this one from beauty uk this uh, highlight, this blush, I mean, is so pretty. And then this, I used as a highlight. It's so beautiful for like an everyday. Cannot believe how echoey it is here. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, this is a blush. This is probably the oldest product in my collection. This is from Isadora. And I used the living crap out of this. I think I've gone through maybe like one zillion of these when I just bought makeup when I had used it up, you know, so I always purchase the same things. This is a good dupe for the Ofra highlight, the Pillow Talk highlight. Looks like that. It's very, very pale, actually. Super pretty. Isadora, I have right here. Super pretty. Makeup Revolution. Uh, Colourpop. Elf. Yeah, but here I have some models' own products. Uh, maquillage that I don't want to get rid of. They are no longer available, so I don't want to declutter them. This is a beautiful highlight from Mina. Yeah, let's go to the next drawer. So here we don't have as much. We have a backup of my Pixi Glow Mist because I love this shit. Then we have some cream products here, like cream blushes, cream highlights, and so on. Here I have some primers and some liquid products, and I do have two of these. I know I haven't decided what to do with them. I absolutely adore this, but Wet n Wild is no longer cruelty free, so I haven't decided what to do with them. Don't judge. Oh, this one. This is from Wet n Wild, and I know that I can declutter this one. This is trash. This is the worst concealer I've ever used, and you can see that I've used a, l a lot of this. This is so bad. Hated this one. Sleek. Uh, yeah. Crap, actually. I actually should declutter a lot of this. This one should go in my powder drawer, but nope. It can stay here. Yeah, okay. Boring drawer. Let's move on. This is a little random drawer. So I do have a mascara here on this side. And then I have some sample things. And I'm not sure that anything of the sample things are cruelty free. Uh, mascaras, I have actually, I don't know if you saw my last collection video, but I had it up to here. I have gone through so many that was old, so I just tossed all of the ones that was old. And we'll see, when my next mascara is empty, I am gonna try these ones and see if they're old, I'm gonna toss them. This one I know is not old, this is new. Uh, here I have brow products, so I have Sigma, Sigma, okay, eyeliners as well, Beauty UK, so these are just new products that I haven't gone through, not everything is new, this one is not new, but you can see this one still has the like wrapper plastic thing on it, uh, I know that this one is new, this one from Fenty I haven't gone through yet or gotten to yet, this I don't know if Blink is cruelty free or not, but this is new. Technic is new. Some pomades from different brands like Sigma, BH Cosmetics, brow powder, you know, boring stuff. And then here I have some singles I have from Colourpop, Aiden. I have from, what is this? Let Cosmetics, Glitter, Bella Pierre, uh, Rituals, Maquillage. 
makeup store, bunch of shit. This is the part where I don't want you to judge me, okay? I know I have a lot of false lashes, don't judge. Depend, House of Lashes, Glam something, something else, Ardell, Primark, Ilure, and then on the side are my Scandal lashes. So I have more in the back right here. I know I have a lot of lashes and it gets worse. This drawer is also lashes. It's not as organized as I would have liked it to be. I will say underneath here, it is some tools <laughs> as well and some lip products as well. This is my shame drawer. Don't judge me. I am allowed. So I have some used lashes here. I have some unused lashes. Okay, don't judge. It is what it is. This drawer is the last eyeshadow drawer and I will say that I have actually been a good girl and decluttered a lot from this drawer. I decluttered both of my Jeffree Star palettes, so the Beauty Killer palette and the Androgyny palette, and I have decluttered all of my Kat Von D palettes that was in here, and some BH Cosmetics and some Morphe palettes, so I feel like I've been pretty good. I do see one Morphe palette here in the back. Uh, but yeah, okay, we have some Sleek. This is the, this one. Okay, this one I only keep for sentimental value. I bought this on Nicholas and my um, first year anniversary. We went to London, so I do not want to declutter that one. This is from uh, Makeup Revolution. I have two palettes here from the Balm, so the Nude and the Nude 2. Do you guys have any of these? Do you want like tutorials or something with one of these? Let me know if you do. I don't think you do. Uh, I have some more sleek here in the back, and then I have the OG Carly Bible palette. When I bought this palette, I was obsessed with Carly Bible. I adored her, I loved her. My friend, it's so funny, the friend that I talk, talked about before that has got just gotten her second child, she has used the crap out of this. I think that she has finished all of the shades up, except for maybe this and some, but she loved the highlights in this one, and this one I think she used as an eyeshadow for such a long time, but she's not a makeup junkie like me. Then we have the Emily palette from Makeup Revolution. I gave this a bad rap, but I actually, I have to say that I am disappointed with it, but having said that, I think it's okay. It's just that it requires a little bit more work, but if I would rank my Makeup Revolution palette, this would probably come in second or third place, quality-wise. Because some of the shimmers are trash, some of the mattes are pretty decent, and some of the shimmers are pretty decent. And the color story is phenomenal. I think it's really pretty. ColourPop, My Little Pony. Uh, this one, I've used once. For some reason, I cannot declutter it. It's from Models Own. I think it's a cute palette, but never use it. Galaxy Cheek, which if you are known to my channel, this is Nicholas' favorite palette of all of the palettes that I own. He thinks that this is so cute, and I agree, but the quality is trash. And then this Jolie palette. I don't know why I keep this. Honestly, glitter, hooded eyes, doesn't really work. But it is a gorgeous palette when you look at it. And then the last palette is my Morphe ugh, 35P palette. It is a beautiful purple palette. I think, oh, <laughs> and then right here I have my little backup palette. It's actually supposed to be here. I have some face products, I have uh, hair products, I have some backups, skincare, you know, just random shit. But that was my little collection. So I hope that this video is under one hour. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you did not, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.